Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And we just want to give you some words of encouragement on today as we are just saying, you know what? in the midst of your journey, in your day-to-day -day journey, uh, we just want to encourage you to not give up. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Keep going. Keep persevering. Keep moving forward. Keep allowing God to lead and direct your path. Be encouraged on today. I do know that times can become very hectic. They become very tiresome. And listen, the plate is full. The journey can be tiresome. But I want you to remember why you started doing what you're doing. I want you to remember who called you to this place. I want you to remember why you do what you do it is all for the kingdom of heaven and every now and then we need to remind ourselves of why we do what we do we need to allow the holy spirit to refresh us and to renew us and to replenish us so that we can continue and sometimes day to day do you not know that every single day we need to be refreshed and we need to be renewed? The refreshing that we had was for yesterday. We did that yesterday. Today is a whole new day. And so I need something to sustain me for today. I need something to keep me today. I need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for today. Mm -hmm. I really do. I need help for today. And I thank God for giving me the help that I absolutely need. He knows what I need, when I need it, and in what doses I need it in. And so I just wanted to encourage you on today that as you are going about be encouraged don't give up don't throw in the towel just begin to say lord what is it that you would have me to do how would you have me to do it what is your course father god what is that what is it that you want me to do how do you want me to do it when do you want me to do it let me move according to your will let me move according to your way we must all take the approach that i don't want to move ahead of god i don't i don't want to move ahead of god i want to move with him I want to move after he gives me instructions. That's when I want to move. I don't want to move ahead of him. I don't want to move two and three months after he has told me to do something. I want to move with him when he gives me the instructions to do. That's when I want to move. It's a day by day process. It really is. It is a day-by-day -day process, and I thank God for that. I thank God that he does not give me all of my energies <laughs> at one time. He gives us proportion for what we can handle day-by-day. -day. So be encouraged. Let your mind be renewed and refreshed. Enjoy the work that you have been given to do. Don't take it for granted. I know I don't. I also want to share with you just some things that the Holy Spirit was sharing with me on last night. And I began to write some things down. And you know how you are in a search in Scripture 
and just looking for God to give me a word. And so I was saying, you know, the, and I know it came from God. I know it came from God. And it blessed my soul so very, very well. Searching for a word and, and just asking God to lead me to a word that will release, that will produce deliverance in my life. I'll tell you that again. Looking for a word and, and asking God to give me a word. I have some ministering opportunities coming up and and just seeking God for a word. What would he have me to share? Would he have me to stay in the same area of ministry, what I've been ministering? What does he want to say to his audience? And, and when it's the same audience at times, I want to make sure that I hear what God is saying. I want to stay in line with what he wants to release. I do not believe that we serve a God that has us jumping all over the place. And so if there's something that he is releasing from me that he wants to continue to release using different scriptures and different scenarios through the word of God, I want to be in tune with God. And as I was just meditating and, and saying, where would you have me to be to minister this word that is coming up? And the thought hit my spirit and I know it came from God. Uh, the thought was, lead me to a word that will produce deliverance in my life. And so I began to think and, and I began to say, what is deliverance? And just to look at different scenarios in the word of God uh, on how God sent deliverance. He sent his word to heal our disease. And, you know, that's one of a scripture that I, I quote um, very often. And so I'm going to. Uh, let, let's take a look at that word. I sent my word to heal your disease. That's Psalms 107 and 20. So I'm going to turn right there really quick. Psalms 107 and 20. Amen. It says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Uh, he sent his word and so his word came down in the likeness of flesh. And whenever God wants to deliver us from something, he does it through the power of of his word uh, not by might not by power but by my spirit says the Lord and it is through the word of God the anointing uh, that, that is resting upon that word and so here I was and I was just saying Lord I thank you it was so refreshing um, and, and there I was laying in the bed of course because it was well after midnight and I'm saying uh, Lord uh, you know he's dealing with me about this and, and and I kept saying okay I'm gonna write it down but you know how it is when the Holy Spirit is resting upon you you cannot go back to sleep you, you cannot get comfortable until you get up and you begin to write as you were led and, and that is what I was led to write lead me to a word that will produce deliverance in my life lead me to a word and so God what is that word that you will release unto me that will shift the atmosphere in my life that will uh, break up uh, stony hard ground that will saturate the dry areas in my life what is that word that you have just for me that will produce deliverance in my life? Amen. And so I am searching and I am and I'm seeking his face because there is a word that he has for each and every one of us. And, and it is a word created. It is a word designed just for us. And I'm not talking about creating some unheard of word. I'm talking about a word that is released from God through the Holy Spirit unto each and every person. And it is 
a word connected to every area of our life and so if you're dealing with say you got a lying spirit uh and you need deliverance from lying hey you need deliverance from lying tell the truth well there is a word that god will release into your life whether he releases it uh and whispers it to you through the holy spirit whether you hear that word uh during a, a sermon that you are in the audience or come across it you know television youtube wherever that word will jolt you that word will do it it will quicken your spirit and your spirit man will become attentive to that particular word and it is a word meant to bring to produce deliverance in your life and so lord i thank you because that is what we need in this day in this hour we need a word from god that is going to produce deliverance in our lives when sometimes we get so familiar with um words that are spoken and and they are rehearsed you know rehearsed words rehearsed messages uh familiar messages you know we haven't really gone into the depths and and ask God what does he want to say there is a a scripture I feel like I'm actually preaching and and I just want to come by and to encourage you in this journey do not give up because there is a word um created there is a word specifically for you uh that God is going to release in your hearing and and listen it's going to do something to your spirit man and it's going to shake you up and it is going to bring uh you alive where there has been some dormant areas in your life and the word that he is about to release in your spirit it is going to quicken you and and listen deliverance is is on the way deliverance is on the way uh, i want to look up another scripture um it is important that we always ask god to reveal unto us what he wants us to say and to minister and i am reminded and i found the scripture it is uh in first samuel the 10th chapter so i'm going to go there first samuel first samuel first samuel 10 Mm -mm -mm. this is good to me if you're just tuning in you're tuning into the balance of life i am pastor angel ferguson and i thank you so very much for joining us today be sure to uh take a look like and share our facebook page for the balance of life we go in there and we try to keep updates in there for you words of encouragement what we're going to talk about uh we do have some things coming up planning we are scheduling to have someone to come and talk to us and you about financial literacy so we will share that uh, as it is coming up all right let's take a look at first samuel the 10th chapter and the 22nd verse it says therefore they inquired of the lord further if the man should yet come thither it is important that we ask the lord that we we talk to him about everything about you know where he wants us to go who he wants us to commune with who he wants us uh to be connected to we must take the time to inquire of the lord it is the same when we get ready to share a word or if we stand to say thus says the lord it is important that we uh talk to god first and um over in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter in the 21st verse, here's another example. It says, for the pastors are become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore, they shall not prosper and all their flocks shall be scattered. Uh, also, I believe uh, in examples, other examples of saying thus says the lord and god said they didn't even ask me they didn't even inquire about me they didn't talk to me they didn't come 
and and seek me in prayer but yet they're giving a word and a message and and that's why i believe in seeking god for a word on which to share because i truly believe that many are about to be delivered and set free and i want to be in the place where i hear solely from god so that i know what to say and when to say it and how to say it and and to whom do i say it to uh, i'm going to give you that quote again that the holy spirit gave unto me uh it said lead me to a word that will produce deliverance in my life and i just wanted to encourage you on today that in your journey in your day-to-day -day journey we are in a day-to-day -day process of, of journeying towards um, our destiny our purpose upon the earth we are in a journey day-to-day -day working for the kingdom of heaven and i just want to encourage your heart don't give up don't give up deliverance is on the way do you not know that uh, no one works uh, without having some areas in their life that God is yet cultivating through the Holy Spirit we all have areas in our lives that need to be cultivated and so continue in your journey doing the work and will of God he is going to send some deliverance there is a word I know it is in the mighty name of Jesus there is a word there is oh God there is something being designed just for you can you imagine that God is putting together uh, a, a medicine and antidote you know he said I sent my word to heal your disease oh Holy Ghost help me right now do you not know that that is a a formula created just for you just for your circumstance what he is going to heal in your life he listen he's putting it together I sent my word to heal your disease let me go back to that scripture oh this is good this is good this is good that's over in Psalms 107 and 20 uh, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions that means that guess what uh, I have a disease um, and it could be my infirmities that's what they're called their infirmities my weaknesses is, and, and God is putting something together that is going to deliver me and the the disease the infirmities that i have and the word that he has for me is going to differ from the word that he has for you because our infirmities are different that's right our infirmities are different but to god be the glory we serve the true and living god and and he gave his son in the likeness of flesh who is the word and who created the word my god so imagine uh uh uh, uh just uh 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 oh god uh, uh a bucket full of words and and there's something in that bucket designed specifically for your situation be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged listen we have some uh things uh that we god is just doing some awesome awesome things and i want you to be a part of it and being a part of what god is doing in this ministry uh we are connected through covenant partners in prayer and i extend an invitation to you to become one of our covenant partners in prayer there is no financial obligation whatsoever to be one of our covenant partners in prayer all you have to do is email us our email address is the balance of life one at yahoo.com once again covenant partners in prayer no financial obligation whatsoever simply email us your name the name of your ministry or business and you do not have to have a business or a ministry if you would like to be under a umbrella of prayer and network of prayer we do share the information of our other covenant partners in prayer in our monthly newsletter our newsletters are done every first Monday of the month and they are emailed out and we share the information of other covenant partners in prayer 
uh, we pray for one another, we share ministry uh, tools, business tools, uh, words of encouragement. You might find something in there that you have need of. Uh, and, and so we extend that invitation to you. I know that God is about to just do something even more miraculous through the extended ministry that we have as covenant partners in prayer. We'll be back in a moment. I'd like to extend a, 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 a great, great notice unto you. We are preparing to do another class session on the five-fold ministry. That's right. We are preparing to do another class on the five-fold ministry. The class is virtual. And if you would email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com, we will give you details about the upcoming class. Uh, we will send you a syllabus of what we will cover in the fivefold ministry class, providing you with an overview, a ninefold purpose of the fivefold ministry class. This is a 15 week class. We do give quizzes, you do get a final examination, and at the end of the course, at the end of completed courses and completed final examination you do receive a certificate of completion from Angel Ferguson Ministries we are recognized in the state of Florida by the Department of Education as a religious institution so if you are interested in learning about the fivefold ministry we will teach from discovering your ministry and spiritual gifts we also have some other tools that we teach from for the fivefold ministry class. You will receive a digital copy of the workbook emailed to you or if you would like a physical copy, you can have that as well. Once again, if you are interested in taking our next class for the fivefold ministry, Please email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Also, another class that we're going to be teaching is going to be on leadership. That's right. We're going to have another class on leadership. Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead. And we invite you once again, email us. Uh, please visit our website at angelferguson-ministries.com for more updates on our upcoming classes. All right. Today, we are sharing a word of encouragement with you. And uh, God is just so good. We're talking about uh, keep going, don't give up. That's right. Keep going, don't give up. And, and I just believe that as I am seeking the Lord on what it is that I share uh, on no matter the platform. So if it's here for radio, I ask the Lord, what are we sharing? If it is ministering opportunity, uh, I ask the Lord, what are we sharing? And I wait for him to tell me. Uh, but as I was seeking the Lord on last night, and I need to write these two scriptures down uh, to go along with the notes that I have written. Listen, I was up last night writing these scriptures out. I just believe that God is, is doing something awesome and wonderful. And, and then I was led to uh, write out, you know, look up the definition of deliverance. Deliverance uh, from things that will block my return with Christ. And so that's what deliverance is. Uh, what is going on in my life that will block my opportunity my chance of returning with Christ and so I just want to that's why I said I want to encourage you uh, deliverance is on the way God is creating something just for you isn't that wonderful that we serve a God that he will not lump you in and put you in with a just just a, a, a one word and it's for everybody no it says over in Psalms 
107 and 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions and so when we're talking about diseases and destructions we're talking about our infirmities our weak areas we all have weak areas we all have things that we need to be delivered from don't give up help is on the way but you have to seek the help of the lord now you have to seek the help of the lord you have to say lord what is your word for me what is what is it that you want to say to me what is your word for me what word do you have for me that is going to produce deliverance in my life what is your word for me that is going to produce healing in my life? Because one thing about our father, which is in heaven, he wants us to be made whole. And so when he gives us the gift of salvation, which is free, he wants us to be made whole. When he sends healing, when he's sending his word to heal us, it's for every area of our lives. Some of us need our minds renewed. Listen, uh, you know, that's one of our scriptures here that we share at the balance of life. Romans 12 and 2. Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. And so the way that we think, some, we need deliverance in that area. Deliverance from thinking negative over to thinking positive. Some of us need deliverance in our uh, in, in our ways of it. We're angry. So we need deliverance from being angry to of peace. Some need deliverance from causing discord to uh, over to unity. Help is on the way. Don't give up. Don't give up. In your day to day journey. Of working for the kingdom of heaven. Listen, God is still working on all of us. He's not done with us yet. We're not at the finished pro pro uh, project. We, we're, we're not at the, the finished product. He's still pruning. He's still cultivating. But we have to seek him for those areas in our lives. He already knows the areas that we need to be cultivated in. He already knows uh, when we are trying to do things in our own flesh and when we're not relying on him, we need deliverance in that area also from untrust to trust, from unbelief to belief. Listen, we need help and we serve a God who wants to help us. He loves us so very much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. At one point, somebody will hear those words and their spirit will be quickened. And that's why scripture also says in the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. So uh, as I am seeking him for a word, see, before I can share a word, I must be first partaker of the word. That's good all by itself. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. I know that uh, ministry, being a ministry leader, being over a ministry, it is work. It is a lot of work. And sometimes we want to throw in the towel. We want to throw in the towel sometimes. But when you get to that point that you want to throw in the towel, I begin to ask God, see, there's something in me that needs to be delivered. If I'm ready to throw in the towel, it means I'm carrying, I'm carrying this thing and I'm not supposed to carry it. This is a God assignment. I'm supposed to rely on him. I'm supposed to move at his direction. He's going to tell me what to do. And so... When I get tired and frustrated, that means I'm trying to do the work and I need to be delivered from that. So you see how the two works hand in hand? Our topic today is don't give up. 
Keep going. Keep going, don't give up. Keep going and don't give up. If you get to a point that you are frustrated, recognize that you're trying to do this. You're trying to carry the weight. It's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. If you are getting tired and frustrated and you are ready to throw in the towel, if you're ready to to walk away from the ministry that God has called you to, if you are tired and ready to walk away from the marriage that God has put together, I need us to go back. Go back and ask God, tell God, be honest with God, say, you know what, I'm trying to do this thing on my own and 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 it's something that you have invited me to and 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 shift the weight back to where it belongs see if we would walk according to the instructions given unto us a lot of our frustrations would not be there a lot of the heaviness it won't be there when we try to take on stuff ourselves when we try to operate in it in our flesh, that's what I want to say. If you're operating in your flesh, trying to carry the ministry, trying to carry whatever God has uh, anointed you to do, don't rely on your flesh, uh, rely on that anointing, that spirit that, that's in you. Rely on that. We can do nothing without Christ Jesus. Remind your flesh, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. I cannot do anything in my flesh. I can do absolutely nothing in my flesh. It is all according to the power that worketh in me and and that's connected to your faith over in Ephesians 3 and 20 says now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us so what power how much power you got working in you how much where's your level of faith We'll be back in a moment. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned into the balance of life. I'm Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. We're so excited about what we're sharing with you on today. Our topic is keep going, don't give up. And listen, I am the first partaker of those words. As I seek to encourage myself, I encourage you as well. It is not your time to turn in the towel, to throw in the towel, to walk away. Take the weight off of you and listen. Ask God to lead and guide you. Stop trying to carry the weight in your flesh. Stop trying to make moves in the flesh. But wait for God to lead and guide you. Only move when you are instructed Oh God, that is so good. Sometimes we make moves in the in the, in our flesh, and uh, we expect a certain outcome. But is that the move that God told you to make? I'll say that again. Sometimes we make moves in our flesh, and we are looking for a certain outcome. But is that the move that God instructed us to make? We all must remember, as it says over in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence. We're also reminded over in the book of Proverbs that we're not to lean into our own understanding. It said, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Trust in him with all thy heart. And lean not to thy own understanding. Trust in him. If you trust in the Lord. That's over in Proverbs the third chapter. Let's read that. 
beginning at the fifth verse it says trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths verse 7 says be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil so a lot of times the frustration that we are feeling in ministry in our day-to-day -day life comes because we're not trusting in the lord and and we're we're leaning unto our own understanding and we're not allowing him to direct us so therefore we're dealing with frustration we're dealing with being uh tired we're drained why because we're trying to do it trust in the lord allow him to to direct your path allow him to lead and guide you on the way that you're supposed to operate in the way that you're supposed to work the ministry that he has given unto you let me tell you something that came to me on uh, i believe it was saturday and it might have been a few days before but really on saturday uh the holy spirit was dealing with me about uh some things in ministry that he has given unto me and the word for me was uh you know what operate at your level of anointing what God has given unto me to do in ministry, I'm anointed for it. I might see others do things and I admire them and, uh, you know, somebody might say, oh, you, you, you might be good at that. Maybe that's something that you can do. But I have to take into consideration, is that something that God told me to do? Because in ministry, we're not all going to do and operate the same we're not you have your path you have your way of doing things ways that you are anointed to do things and so do I so another reason why we become frustrated is simply because we're trying to do things like other ministries do but whenever we are called to a ministry God is going to give us ways in which he wants us to operate because you have a specific audience you're supposed to reach so do i everybody who does anything for the kingdom of heaven has a specific way in which god wants them to move and to operate now the common goal is is that we are teaching we are sharing the true gospel of jesus christ that we have our father which is in heaven creator of heaven and earth we believe in the trinity we believe in jesus christ his only begotten son he came he died on the cross Jesus came down in the likeness of a flesh and he walked among men he went before Pontius Pilate yes he was born of the Virgin Mary let me back up we so we when we have the common ground our goal is the same and so I am learning day by day. Listen, I love the ministry of my sisters and my brethren. I love the way God uses them. I admire how God operates through them. And that is their course. That is the way God is leading them. And he, I have a way that he leads me. But if I think for one moment that I can go over and do something just because they're doing it and try to emulate it try to copy it that it's going to work for my audience then no it is not because that's not the path God has me on so before you think about you know what I'm not going to do this anymore I'm going to walk away um be before you allow frustration and some are in the middle of frustration because things are not working things are not panning out go back go back go back go back I please ask you to go back go back and acknowledge find out are you moving in this direction or did God tell you to go in that direction if God didn't tell you to go in that in that direction then listen repent 
and begin to say, Lord, I need to do according to Proverbs, the third chapter, fifth, and and listen, keep going, uh, fifth, uh, and I'm looking at it because it's all so good, fifth through the ninth verse, also over in the fourth chapter, the 23rd verse. And always, I can't say this enough, always encourage yourself. Oftentimes you will hear me, you will hear me say, um, if you are waiting for someone to come along and pat you on your back, to tell you that you're, going, you're doing a good job, to say that they are proud of you, to, um, to, to put a, a bright light on you, to acknowledge what you were doing you're going to be waiting for a very long time first of all give thanks and honor unto God walk in humility give him thanks on and praise for even uh, using you as a vessel to carry out his word to carry his anointing to carry his love to carry his peace give him thanks and honor and praise for that encourage yourself get up get up get up get up get up from there there are no pity parties get up shake yourself I pray that you are renewed I I pray that you learn to encourage yourself to get up Every day is a new day. It is a new opportunity. Yesterday was a lesson. Le yesterday was indeed a lesson for today. Because yesterday you experienced something. And if it arose around today, then guess what? You've already experienced it. You've already learned from it. And you can grow from it. Because what you experienced yesterday, it is going to come around again. But what did you learn from it? Did you grow from it? Don't give up. Don't give up. If you are tired of the same results, I need you to go in prayer and say, God, I want to do your will. And I want to follow the course that you have for me. You may not see anything happening or harvesting right now in the natural. But let me tell you something. As you are following the will and work of God, something is happening in the spiritual realm. That seed that you planted, it has to get, it got to get some roots first before you begin to see a harvest. The roots have to develop and they have to be strong enough. Oh, Holy Ghost, come on now. The roots have to be strong enough to produce fruit. And that takes some time. You keep doing what God told you to do. And as you con continue to do what God tells you to do. See, first we, we conceive. First the seed is planted. Then the seed has to develop some roots. And, and that's going to take some nurturing and some care over that seed. To make sure that the enemy doesn't pluck it up. I believe we talked about this last week that um, the seed can go through um, confusion when it's planted because the enemy gets in there and tries to cause some confusion. So in between the time that the seed is planted and the roots begin to develop, the enemy tries to come in and abort that planted seed. He tries to come in with some confusion so that the root doesn't get an opportunity to start to grow and develop. Then you have to continue to nurture it and those roots must be strong enough 
to begin to produce a harvest. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. God has great plans in store for you. If you have gotten off a track, you can get back on track. I know you can. It's going to take some time, some diligence, some prayer, but I believe that you can do it. I am praying with you and for you. I know that God is faithful and he is just. Listen, we're coming to a close for today, but we'll be back on tomorrow at 1230. Have a great day, everyone.